the following video, we are going to talk about the addresses or address range. Um, it's it's not that difficult once you once you get it. <laughs> okay, so first we're gonna start with a few Then how two K A. Okay, and that's a P ROM as well. Okay, this one is from a figure figure three point twenty nine. Then I will provide the link so you can get the book. So in this case, I'm trying to see my ranges. Okay, how would I know my ranges? So first. I will start by calculating the number of lines that I will need. 2k. Keep in mind that k is equals 1000, right? But for this specific class, k is 124. Okay, which is also k is equals 2 to the 10, right? So we're gonna have 2 times 2 to the 10 which is also equals 2 to the 1 times 2 to the 10, which is equals 2 to the 11, where 11 will be the number of lines. Okay, so we got that. Now, since we already have the number of lines, we're going to start at the first range. Okay, we'll start at 0, 0, Zero, zero, zero. Okay, so bear in mind this is hexa. Now we need to convert this to binary, which is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, now at my first B run, it will be 11 positions, right? So, I mean, no position, 11 lines. So, I will get 11 lines from these ones. So, one line, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And the rest will be zeros. Zeros. Okay. So, now I'm going to have to just add them. Which is going to be 1, 1, 1, 1. One 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 zero 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 zero. Okay. Now, what is uh this is in what that's binary. Now I need to convert to hexa. That will be f. That will be f. What number would this one? Zero one one one, and um zero one. Zero one 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 eight seven zero. Therefore, let me see if this one worked. At the first theorem, my position will be my range will be the first range will be zero. It's gonna go from zero zero to zero seven f f. Okay, that will be my first. That will be my first range. Now, now, how about we do the second one? For the second one, here comes the tricky part, and it's actually not that tricky. It's just, just a rule that you have to remember. Once you have your last position, which is this one, you add one. Why we add the one? Because uh, we're trying to jump to the following one, to the following PRO. Right, this is, this address is good. This address, right, the address range down here is good, but just for this one. Now we need to do calculate for the second one. Right, and we add them. 
15 and 1, 16, 16 minus 16 will be 0. I will have carrier 1. Uh, 15 plus 1 is 16, 16 minus 16 will be 0. I will still will have my carrier 1. 7 and, and 1 is 8 and 0. So now my initial position will be 0, 800. And in this case, I will go back and do the same that I did in the first one. This one is Excel testing. I'm going to convert this one to binary to make everything easier. So the first one will be 1, 3, 4, which is this one. I'll go for the other one. 1, 2, 3, 4. And what is A? A is going to be 1,000. Okay, and the other one will be zero 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 zero. Okay, now remember, I'll go to the second architecture, and it's still two k times a, where the total address lines we already calculate, and we saw that there are eleven lines. Therefore, I'm gonna add eleven lines. I'll do the same procedure: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, and the rest just being zeros. And I will have to add them. Rise 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. So this one will be F, 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 0. Remember, that's a uh, binary and this is hex so for the purpose of this lecture we're doing the address ranges in terms of hexa if your professor happened to ask you do it in terms of uh, binary you know how to do it now I think personally it's more easier to do in terms of binary and then you can convert to hexadecimal but the whole uh, the theorem usually works with the uh, hexadecimals, so that's the architecture. Of it. Now, therefore, the first address will be this one, and the and this one is a two k times A, and this one is a 4K times A. Why? Because we are in a second, a second B run in this one. And feel free to ask questions, and if you want me to keep increasing this one, I can do it. Oh no, hope you guys like the video.